Hello everyone, this is David with the fish. I'm doing a big giant water change here on this 33 gallon tank. And I thought, you know, we all tell each other that if you're looking for infusoria starts and stuff to use the squeezings out of a filter. And I'm telling you, oh, this filter's got to be about as disgustingly squeezable as you can get. So, we're going to pop the air off of this one. This, this tank's got three of these in it. I've cleaned one of them. Now I'm going to pull this one out. Hopefully I won't make too big a mess. Alright, so here's the filter stuff out of the first one I did. Now let's peel back the second one. See how it's looking. That's, if, if we're looking for stuff growing in the filter, that ought to do it. Now let's pour the water out. Okay, set this aside. Now, what we want to do is collect as much of this mess as we can and see what's growing in it. So, I'm going to take this funnel and a gallon jug. And in goes the filters. And we're going to let them drip for a bit. Squeeze on the top. See if we get any great stuff in here, grossing us out. All right. We're going to let this sit for a bit and then we'll see what it looks like under a microscope and if it's worthy of being the seed material for growing some infusoria for our baby fish. Alright, we've let these this filter water sit for a bit, see if we can get all the good stuff to fall to the bottom. So we're going to go down here and suck a little up and come over here to our test tube put a couple of yummy drops in and we're going to take that over to the microscope and then I'll show you what we're going to see. Now the first thing you're going to notice is you'll see a couple little things go flitting by but mostly you just see a lot of detritus. That's uh, plant goop, fish poop, just different kinds of organic matter that are broken down. Now I'm focusing up through the different ranges. There's a little something or other down there on the bottom and there's a guy in the middle but the most overwhelming thought I get here is that there's very very little bacterial infusorial life in this 
squeezings out of this very, very dirty filter. Now, I know that everyone tells you that the way you cycle a tank is to put in squeezings or filter material from an old filter. Well, this is what you're putting in your tank. A bunch of fish poop. I'm not seeing much in the way of bacteria to help you cycle the different parts of your tank that you need to get cycled. There's just not enough bacteria here to make much of a difference. Uh, I don't ever cycle tanks at all. I fill them up, put the fish back in. And as I look at this, I realize how little there is in the filter material to help life. What I do find is that if you will add in some beans or something, add in some more aquarium water, fill, fill it up so you got enough to matter. Uh, and my latest thing is to find is that some of the, the uh, brewer's yeast, the kind you use for bread, sprinkle some of that in there. That will hatch out and give a ton of food to the little bit of stuff you got in here. They will feed and multiply. Take about a week and then you're going to be buried in stuff that you could use to cycle tanks with or feed your baby fish. It doesn't really matter. They're both outstanding uses for the amount of growth and infusorial activity you're going to get. But just straight plant filter squeezings is just not going to cut it. That's why it doesn't really help you cycle a tank. It just makes you feel better that you're doing something. But feeling better doesn't make the fish happier. It just makes you feel better.